the first time they saw Our Lady was on May the 13th. And Our Lady told them not to be afraid, said uh, I'm uh, from heaven and that she wanted them to come in that place every month on the 13th. Their names were Jacinta, Francisco and Lucia. And uh, the apparitions of Our Lady went on every month on the 13th until October. The children heard this message from Our Lady and the children wanted the people to believe. They wanted the people to know that this was from heaven. And so Our Lady had promised them that during her last appearance she would perform a miracle for everyone to see. The miracle of the sun happened uh, in October on the 13th. It was a rainy day. It was a miserable day. And yet everybody packed into the cova to see what was going to happen. The three children spoke with Our Lady and suddenly uh, Lucia told to the, all the people who were there, look at the sun, look at the sun. And then the sun started to spin around as the sun started to, to dance and to move about, it appeared that it was going to fall to the earth. When they began to confess themselves, they began to feel that this was it. And then, of course, at the last second, it turns around and goes back up into the sky. And suddenly, after the apparition, after this uh, phenomenon of the sun, they looked at each other and they were completely dry. And there was, there was no mud, there was no rain, there was nothing anymore. My grandmother was there on that day and she remembers seeing uh, like uh, petals of flowers uh, falling down and people wanted to collect them, but they couldn't. It was more than just a miracle. There were 70,000 people there. It proved that what they were saying was true. In 1947, 30 years later, John Hafford Monsignor Colgan founded the Blue Army to accomplish promoting the message of Fatima. What happened was that John had an interview with Sister Lucia, and she was a bit worried that the request that Our Lady made when she appeared to the three children in 1917 were not being generated throughout the world. Sister Lucia was really contemplating leaving her order to go out and spread the message of Fatima. And then she met John Hafford. And she was so convinced that he was a gift from Our Lady that she stayed in prayer and entrusted this message to be delivered to the world through our founder, John Hafford. And so wherever he was, whatever he was doing, that was foremost in his life. He was focused on making this message of Our Lady of Fatima known in the world. The mission of this apostle today is really no different than it was in 1947. It's no different than what the message of Fatima was. The promise of the triumph of the Immaculate Heart, the era of peace, all of that was all promised at Fatima. We await that still. This message of hope has been given to us from 1917 to today because God didn't send Our Lady to say that we're doomed, that there's going to be war and destruction and that souls are going to fall into hell. No, she came to say, yes, these things can happen. But if we pray and we offer up reparation for the sacrifices of our daily lives, souls can be saved and go to heaven. And so the message of Fatima is important today because we're not going to solve our problems with guns, with legislation. It's going to be solved because people are going to turn back to God. We always have in our hands the chance to change and Fatima is a, a reminder, is an appeal to do that. We must change 
our heart and transform this world into a better world. One alone thinks he cannot do much, but if many people do a little bit of sacrifice, together you are strong. The World Apostle of Fatima is the only Fatima apostolate that has the approval of the church. So there's great truth to what's being spoken by the World Apostle of Fatima. I believe very much in the message of Our Lady of Fatima and it gives me joy basically to see that um, the wonderful work that John did all those many years is continuing in good hands. It's a joy to be part of it because you can see it in people. People who find it do understand that there is, there is an answer to the problems today and we have it. We are changing the world.